Hello, I'm Anthony Zoller, and welcome to the Employment Law Report. Today, we're going to be focusing on the issues that arose once Yelp started responding to employees' complaints on social media. So what are the five best practices for California employers in dealing with employee complaints on social media? So getting to the issue, you know, when you have an employee that posts a complaint or a rant on social media, what rights do the employers have in making a response? What legally can they do? And then finally, what would be an appropriate response? So I want to briefly discuss five aspects that come up in this regard. Um, first, employers need to understand uh, uh, that once the employee puts private information out on the internet, uh, in terms of a complaint or a rant, uh, that usually reduces the employee's privacy in that information. So uh, this is even so if the employee posts the information on a Facebook group that is uh, protected by uh, a password. They've shared that information with the public and they have a lesser interest in uh, privacy interest in that information. Now does that mean that the employer has an unlimited right to respond in kind and uh, and provide other private other information of the employee on the internet not necessarily and that leads me to my second point that employers need to be careful about the response in social media and uh, when an employee complains or posts anything on the internet it just because it is on social media doesn't change the rules of the game so basically the same type of information that the employer would have provided in response to a job reference request or any other kind of request outside of the company that's the kind of information the employer should post or feel comfortable posting in response on on social media now employers in California and employers across the US also have to be concerned about um, the employee making a complaint against the company that is a protected complaint. So it'd make the employee a whistleblower. So that leads me to my third point. Um, the employers need to analyze whether the complaint by the employee is actually a protected complaint. Are they complaining about wages, the workplace conditions, something like that that could be a uh, protected complaint and would give the employee protected status under the law so that no adverse employment action could be taken against the employee because of that complaint. And again, the employee would argue they're posting this publicly um, in order to draw attention to it to fix the working conditions in the workplace and any adverse employment action against the employee um, in response to that could be illegal. Um, so my fourth point is what parameters should employers have when they respond uh, or have an employee or former employee posting uh, complaints on the internet or social media. I think one, they need to watch about the kind of detail that they respond uh, with. Uh, I would keep it very generic. Um, if they do get into the details and the details are not accurate and, you, and you're disclosing information about the employee's work history with the company and it's not accurate, that could also lead to a defamation claim. Um, and again, I think employers should just use the rule of thumb that they use when responding to requests for references. Uh, and also, um, not legally, uh, not a legal issue, but something employers should think about is how is the response on social media going to look to other current employees and the public at large. And I know this Yelp issue that has come up over the last couple of weeks has um, led to some negative inferences by customers of Yelp about the appropriateness of their response. So that's something that companies should keep in the back of their mind. And fifth and finally, I uh, close the video out here with the last thought is uh, this lesson, it's a good learning um, opportunity for HR departments, companies, owners of companies, uh, that they really need to think through how to respond to these uh, types of issues before they actually happened. With the internet and social media, these types of issues can get out of control very quickly. And I think the employee, the employer needs to have a process and system in place beforehand so that they can respond in kind, make an appropriate response, and make it quickly to potentially diffuse any of these issues before it grows out of control. So they need to just realize the, the new reality that employers are, are operating in and develop policies to um, 
ensure that they respond uh, appropriately and don't violate any, any laws in doing so. So with that, I appreciate you watching and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. <laughs>